Buckling is a classical phenomenon uh, in mechanics. When there is uh, compression being applied, the, the car buckles, it, meaning that it bends and it deforms out of plane. There are some catastrophic consequences of buckling in many structures, as uh, for example in bridges. However, in modern science, uh, buckling has been also appreciated for being a route to implement functionality. So buckling is, is usually associated with compression, but there are other routes to create buckling. For example, nowadays there has been examples of buckling under tension. I will use this paper sheet, just a regular one. Uh, when I hold it uh, with my hands and I uh, apply some tension, nothing happens. If I crumple the sheet and then open it again, and I will apply a tension, a uniaxial tension, the sheet falls into the transverse direction of the axis in which I'm applying the tension. To better understand what happens, we can use this sample. The bit that it's pink in the middle, it's softer and it's stiffer at the sides in green. When I apply a tension, we observe the same phenomenon of uh, folding in the transverse direction. And what is important to notice is that the bit in the middle, it develops a non-zero Gaussian curvature. The sheet finds in order to minimize the energy, it's to stretch even more than the stretch I'm imposing in the soft part, and then remain the bits that are stiffer in, in green, flat. If I consider the opposite configuration, so it's stiffer in the middle, softer at the sides, and I apply exactly the same tension, the sheet, it doesn't uh, fold, and this supports the idea that in order to observe folding, we need to create a double uh, curvature around the center. And because this sheet is stiffer in the middle, it's very hard to stretch. So it's very hard for it to adopt this configuration. And instead of folding, it uh, prefers to uh, be stretch all along the width. And we speculate that this phenomenon can be, for example, the root uh, for invagination in embryogenesis, for understanding the bending of graphene when one side is clamped, and also the folding of leaves as senescence progresses.